Hi folks and welcome to another video and in this video we're going to go over Commodore OS Vision because we've got the final build ready for the Extreme in the Ultimate, it's the build that Leo's been working on now. It's still in beta but um, it's pretty friggin amazing. So let's take a look now. As you see this install at the moment, this is um, as your, you guys, so you guys that have got the Extreme and the Ultimate, this is what you're going to be um, confronted with when you turn the system on. So, um, so let's click OK for this. In you, to use Commodore OS Vision, you agree to the following terms. So you've got to agree to the terms and conditions for this because this is a beta build, so it's not, um, it's not release quality. I mean, it is, but um, you've got to agree to this for it to continue. So we're going to click the Agree button. Or uh, tick it and then continue. Consider changing your password. So the password as it stands now is capital C and the equals sign. So you can change that if you want to. I'm not going to. Check your date, time, and locale are correct. I'm not going to change this. I'm just going to. Um, you might find these tips and suggestions useful. Again, there's some tips on how to use Commodore OS Vision here. These keyboard shortcuts will help you navigate the system and use the more advanced features of Commodore OS Vision. So this is where you can do all the graphical effects where you can, for instance, I can just grab this window and you can see all these things going on. I can, I can flip the workspace. So you can get all that from these shortcuts here. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is um and i'm going to have to move my camera because it's blocking my view of the actual screen um, the first thing they're going to have to do is um or the thing i'm going to show you is on the commodore emulators we click on commodore 64 and you can see that this is the open roms um uh, eight bit operating system their version of the uh, commodore 64 and it can run quite a few games if I double left double click on this I can bring it down to a windowed view and um, what I'll do is if we click um, the C equal sign on the actual dock and go to Commodore C64 games original Commodore games it'll give us a lift if I'm, a list if I maximize these so these are all the games that come with Commodore OS Vision and these games were um, released by Commodore um, International or Commodore Business Machines or Commodore Electronics. They're Commodore games, hence why we can actually add them to this system. And um, for instance, if I just double click on Avenger, you can actually see that it will run. So this is the Open ROMs project, thanks to um, uh, the Mega65.org for letting us use the Open ROMs project on Commodore OS Vision. Um, what I'm going to do is come out of this because there is a way to get the original 8-bit ROMs and it involves you downloading um, C64 Forever onto Commodore OS Vision and then OS Vision will import them into uh, Voice so that you end up with the original ROMs. So this is how you do this and it's um, OS Vision uh, and um, uh, Leo has made this uh, this solution relatively easy. So this is what we do. So we go into System, we go to Commodore OS, and then come on to Commodore ROM Setup. So System ROM and Kickstart Setup. Please select which system you would like to set up. So it gives you uh, two options. Option three is quit. So the first option is to uh, install the 8-bit uh, system ROMs. And the second option is to install uh, the Kickstart Im images uh, from Clamantu's Amiga Forever software package, which you have to buy and physically have um, the uh, the the operating uh, sorry the program to do that. When we're, we're just going to focus on the 8-bit ROM, so we're going to select option one. Following options to integrate Clamantu's Commodore 8-bit system ROMs into Commodore OS. So you can you can have a look at those different options, but we're going to select option one, which is taking us to um, the C64 Forever website. So 
So here we have um, Cloantu C64 Forever. And uh, what this is, is the emulator, but it also gives you lots of games. And it also gives you information about the games. It's a fantastic website and it's, it's produced by Cloantu. Um, and they've put a lot of time and effort into doing this. And um, the best way to support this project, because it's a fantastic project, is to actually buy the actual C64 Forever package, which is $9.95. Um, but there's a problem, um, not about buying the actual package, but the fact that we use, or Commodore OS Vision is a Linux distro, and unfortunately we cannot install this C64 Forever program onto Commodore OS Vision. Um, now there is a workaround normally where you can use something called Wine uh, which is a, a, a software package that enables you to run Windows applications on a Linux platform. Unfortunately it doesn't work with C64 Forever so we haven't got a way of installing this onto OS Vision and here's what Leo's done to be able to enable us to install this. So you can select buy now and pay for this and support this um, this fantastic project that Cloantu is doing uh, and I would highly recommend you do that or you can select the free edition express edition which uh, if you could install this onto OS Vision would have adverts and things like that on it but you can't install it onto OS Vision anyway but you can download it so what we um, recommend is you download the express edition um, so which is what I'm going to do now so if I just click that or I don't recommend you do that, I recommend you buy it, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna download the Free Express Edition. Um, now, if you select the, the Buy Now option, you're gonna get loads more extras. You're gonna get videos, um, showing you lots of things about uh, Commodore back in the day. Uh, you're gonna get loads of games. Um, you know, you get some games with the Free Edition, but you get tons of games with the actual um, the buy now option so I highly recommend you do that um, so the download is now complete so once the downloads complete all you need to do is just X out of the um, the, the the Internet Explorer whatever you call it the uh, Firefox so if you we just click the X button that informs um, Commodore OS Vision that it's been downloaded and now Commodore OS Vision will now go to the downloads folder and extract all of the 8-bit ROMs uh, and that's what it's doing now and we should get a, um, a notification once it's done complete there you go so it's complete so to prove that it's installed so if we X out of this now what I want to do is go to the C equals, tie, uh, C equals um, logo in the top left hand corner, Com Commodore emulators, um, Commodore 64, there we go, so now it's no longer the Open ROMs project, as you can see it's the actual Commodore 64, um, now we can go to the 128, uh, what about um, CBM2, What about Commodore 16? For those of you who's got the Commodore 16 version. What's next? And the VIC-20. So you can see here that the, that the Commodore OS Vision now is emulating all the 8-bit uh, uh, systems, which I, I think is absolutely fantastic. So let's, let's X out of all these and move on to the next thing I want to show you. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is how to, uh, if we go to system, Commodore OS again, um, we get an option to install um, different things on here as well. So we've got the Commodore ROM set up, set up that we just did for the 8-bit ROMs. Um, but it, there's, there's other stuff that we can do on here. So we've got the free games installer. So if you click that, it will uh, install 54 Linux games. We've got the software installer, let's click that. And we need the C equals sign as a password, or whatever password you've put in. 
So you can install uh, popular, uh, you can install wallpapers. Um, there's there's different things um, that you can do here, but uh, we're going to come out of there. I just wanted to show you this. So if we click on wallpapers, uh, and there's there's different backgrounds that you can install on here. Um, but there's something else I want to show you. And if we go to system, um, and Leo has told me about this, and I didn't understand where what what it was he was trying to explain. And he said, just click this button and it will explain everything. And this will sell Commodore OS Vision just it on its own. So what we're going to do is uh, if we go to, let's start again. Let's go system, Commodore OS, and then animate wallpaper. Now this is nothing short of outstanding. So let's click this. And um, I could run this. Uh, all day long um, it is it's amazing uh, and I it's just part of the the graphical effect, graphical effects of um, and actually it shows off how good um, the Commodore Ultimate is because you know it takes a lot of graphical power to run this um, but why that's doing that because it carries on for quite a while it's really good um, and I'm sorry if it makes you feel a little bit nauseous but um, it, it kind of reminds me of Doctor Who from the 1970s in a minute, but anyway. Um, so what else are we going to do? I just want to show you um, what comes with Commodore OS Vision. So we've got Steam and we've got Wine, which is... Do you remember me explaining about um, like we can install Windows applications on Linux? Well, you do, that, you do that via Wine, so you can install Windows applications. Sadly, we couldn't install Commodore... Uh, sorry, the C64 for Forever software package, but we've got the workaround for that. Um, so you've got internet stuff. So we've got the Chromium web browser. Uh, we've got uh, FTP client, Firefox, Google Earth, uh, Pigeon Internet Messenger, BitTorrent. So you can see there's quite a few things there. Now in Office, those of, the, the, of you that are uh, familiar with Windows will have uh, uh, Microsoft Office software package well um, in here we've got the LibreOffice so it gives you everything that you get with Microsoft Office but it comes with the operating system and in programming we've got um, a, a, a program called Game Base 3 Basic so you can write your own programs kind of similar to like uh, Commodore Basic um, and then we've got sound and video so we've got an Amiga uh, mod music player and we've got audacity look at that background it's amazing isn't it um, and then we've got all the other programs if I just carry on down uh, VLC media player player there's lots of stuff there then we've got system tools uh, and then uh, what I wanted to show you is if we go down there's lots on here by the way um, but I just want to show you a uh, virtual box and um, you can install different operating systems within Commodore OS Vision. So I just wanted to show you, we're not going to go into it or anything, but I just wanted to show you Windows 11 uh, running on, um, sorry, running on Commodore OS Vision, which is, which is kind of cool, isn't it? Um, uh, save the machine state. And then we come out of here, go back into the applications, uh, system tools. What is anything else on there I want to show you? I mean, you get the gist. There's, there's a lot of stuff on there. Um, and then if we go back to the emulators and we go down to Amiga Emulator FSUAE. Uh, and I've got something special lined up here as well. So if we click start... Um, so I've actually uh, done option two and installed uh, the Amiga um, uh, Forever, uh, which I've got here. I've got a copy of this. So I've installed that, but I've also um, downloaded a copy of um, Amiga 4.1. Um, I did it a while, a while ago now, a couple of years ago or something like that. So I've actually installed that onto OS Vision, which I thought was... I mean, this is an old operating system, really. It's it's well outdated, but it's a really good thing to show this running on Commodore OS Vision. You know, um, so if I just maximise that, 
um, and then we can open workbench up uh, you know and it, it's it's um and then you've got emulation so you can actually play some cinemaware games I just remember looking in the, the computer shops back in the 80s um, Defender of the Crown I just looked at the graphics and thought they were awesome and I could never afford to buy it I did however buy um, a second hand game from a friend of mine who sold me it came from the desert and I played that for ages and I was rubbish at trying to shoot off the antenna of the ants um, but uh, you know I used to like playing that game as well kind of made me want to move to America <laughs> um, but yeah so I just wanted to show you this as well and if we just um, oh. and um, I mean you know you guys can explore this yourselves as well um, but I think we can turn this on I can't remember um, whether this can natively just shut down I can't remember now let's have a look on here maybe we can do that no it just resets it I can't remember I'll have to ask Leo about how you shut down the animated wallpaper um, but then we've got some shortcuts the last thing I want to show you guys is um, the shortcuts to the graphical sorry I'm moving this again um, so um, you know there's lots of things you can do we can come out and we can go to different workstations um, and then um, I'm not going to show you the explain the keys uh, I'm just gonna um, uh, do this so you know and this is my favorite I've mentioned this before but I love the cube um, and then the water effects um, can we do this uh, fire effects then yeah we can do the fire effects water effects for some reason aren't working well I hope you enjoyed that uh, little intro into Commodore OS Vision. I admit I'm not the best um, uh, person for showing off a Linux operating system on Windows through and through. But um, Linux is fantastic and what Leo's done with Commodore OS Vision, I'm going to be working with it now for quite a while because I've got to get used to it so that I can actually show it off more. But it is absolutely fantastic what he's done uh, just with the um, animated wallpaper it's just, it's just truly awesome it's out of this world so um, final thoughts I think now that there's a way for you guys to download uh, the paid edition of um, C64 forever or worst case the free edition it gives you access to extra games a few extra games if it's the free edition loads of extra games if you pay the ten ten dollars um, but it gets it's a way for us to get the um, the the eight bit ROMs onto Commodore OS Vision the way it used to be because when Commodore OS Vision came out in 2012 um, it had all the eight bit ROMs on there anyway so it's a it's a brilliant way of getting it on there um, so if there's any any questions about uh, or you want to see any more information about it please um, um, put something down in the comments and, and I'll, I'll try to reply to every comment um, but the operating system itself is, is amazing and this is um, on the Commodore 64 Ultimate so it's the graphical version of the Commodore 64 that's got a graphics um, card or graphics chip within it so it can run um, super intense games I should have showed some games as well but um, I just wanted to get this video out show everyone because this uh, version of Commodore OS Vision is the final version for the manufacturers to install it into the Extreme and Ultimate uh, computers that people have purchased. So it's pretty, pretty darn good. It's still in beta, so that means there's bugs and things like that. So hence why you have to, to uh, accept the um, the conditions because it's not a finalised, polished operating system yet. Anyway, so that's wrapping things up. I just want to say one more thing. Um, if you like our videos and what we're doing and, and um, the way I'm showing things off and, and the things that we're actually um, um, getting out into the marketplace now, please consider um, 
following us on YouTube or uh, on our social media um, as well. So we've even got a TikTok account now as well. So consider following us on any of those. Uh, if it's YouTube, don't forget to turn the notifications on so that you get to uh, you you're not notified once I bring or we bring another video out, which we will be doing now because we're getting to the point um, where we're nearly ready to send everything out. Uh, to the backers so I'll be bringing out videos for people to see and things like that so it's well worth subscribing to our channel now thanks very much for for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it and we will catch you next time thank you very much